welcome to my channel good morning it is so early this is 5 a.m and i am already on my way to abuja because you guys know it is pretty far and as you can see it is still dark i feel like i'm losing my mind is everybody in the world blind please lord give me a sign a sign I just got this. I was just walking around to even stretch my legs. I think these are a bit I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. is a bit cold compared to Lagos it's really cold this morning but anyways I got here around 7 p.m. yesterday so it was basically about 12 hours joining I was so tired that I couldn't even vlog anything again because I had to go and look for food to eat <laughs> I had to look for food and I was so tired basically so Today is Monday. Let me do like a very quick room tour and show you guys what the room look like and also the cost of this apartment. So I'll basically be staying for three days. I logged in on Sunday, Sunday night. So the way they do it is from 9th like to 12 a.m. Whenever you log in to like lodge in to like 12 a.m. So Sunday to Monday 12 a.m. Monday to Tuesday 12 a.m. Then Tuesday to Wednesday because I'll be leaving very early on Wednesday morning around 5 or 6 so that I can get to Lagos as soon as possible but I just have to like pay for the three days basically once I'm staying up to Wednesday so that is the update let me show you guys like my room tour and then bring you guys along okay let's go so guys basically once you come in once you come in this is the bed <laughs> anyways i've not laid my bed i just woke up so this is what the bed looks like and over here we have this chair and these are my documents that i'll be using tomorrow and they have this cutting i really love the combination of the cutting it's like wine and deep gold this is what the cutting looks like so i'm going to open it up so that the video can be bright and this is what we have at this section here we have this mirror ah i don't know it's not it's not bright is it not so bad so we have this mirror this table and this chair i have like my phone and my power bank charging at this point they have like a mini what are we gonna call this freezer and they also have like AC and TV I was so tired that I couldn't even watch anything now we have like this um storage yeah it's like basically my load <laughs> these are my properties already because I just like hang them over there so yeah and they gave us they gave me so well but I don't know if so let's go to the bathroom area so we have like this washing hand of course the toilet and then we have this section the shower so one thing I really love about the shower is the fact that you know it has like hot and cold because Abuja is pretty cold compared to Lagos and this is what it looks like it's quite spacious you know it's quite spacious but it's okay 
okay you know and this part we have the dog that's basically and we have the fine girl in the room so that's basically what we have it's a very simple apartment so the cost of it is ten thousand four fifty per day ten thousand four fifty so i for the three days i paid thirty one thousand two hundred or thereabouts so this is pretty much what the apartment looks like it's very simple it's okay so far i really don't have any complaint yet because i just loaded in yesterday so good morning so today i don't really have much going on basically because i'm here for work not for pleasure you know i'm here for my interview not for pleasure not for vacation so the first thing i need to do now is to read guys we are basically going to read together so there are a couple of questions that you know people that if asked people that i intend to just practice to read to go through just in case if they ask me because you guys know that this is interview and i just need to be prepared so i'm going to keep you guys here while i try to study a bit probably we're going to study together okay so let's go mind you guys that the cost does not include feeding so you're basically like to buy your food so you can buy from them or outside so i went outside i went you know to ask them if i can get something to eat and they're like oh the food that available there's no meat so i'm like what's not the essence of paying which amount of money like two thousand euro for a plate of food that doesn't have meat so basically if it has meat it's two thousand five hundred if it doesn't have meat it's 2000 and yesterday they said their meat has finished anyway i got here late maybe so i've not been able to eat i tend to get something to eat because but before then let me see what i can do okay let me just try to like go through the documents try to read before my day gets busy so that's what i'm doing in search for food guys <laughs> i'm in search for food because i really want to eat like food i've not eaten like a good food yesterday so today i'm in search of a good food so and it's good walking around the streets of abuja just seeing how it looks like it's actually very beautiful so one of my observation i don't know if you guys can hear me but one of my observation when it comes to abuja compared to lagos is the fact that abuja roads are very free like extremely free there is no traffic nothing it is peaceful it is quiet it's not like the lagos hustle and bustle you get what i'm trying to say yeah it's more peaceful relaxed cool you know it's even like a vacation on its own because everywhere is calm but when you come to lagos <laughs> lagos is something else guys so hopefully i'm able to get amalasha because i love amala I'm a la gadi. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement The top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting For my day when I'm playing Sold out shows were th So guys Mission number one completed I've eaten But look at the step I need to climb after eating guys The little food that I ate I'm already using it for climb stairs Anyway I'm heading up to where I want to print the documents and then I'll head back to basically the first place I went to they don't print colored so I had to like look for another place to print the colored I'm at this plaza I think at Utako Market 
yeah so i'm trying to just locate where i can print guys another observation i have today is the fact that abuja market is so quiet like so quiet it looks like you are basically just like walking on the streets of lagos you know those small lagos markets that is how it is men their markets are so quiet so organized everyone is seated in their shops nobody is dragging you nobody is pulling your hands to come and buy everybody is just oh god wow i must say that the market is really really organized you know that kind of organized market you just walk around see what you want to buy if you come to lagos my dear they will start dragging you sister fine girl hmm. i'm so impressed anyway i feel like this is how market should be so i'm heading out now to my hotel room i hope i find my way back <laughs> i hope i find my way back actually so guys i'm also thinking of i don't know if you guys can hear me but i'm also thinking of going to check out the embassy today and just see how it looks like so that tomorrow morning i know where i'm going to for sure so that's something i'm also doing but before then i need to head to the hotel room to drop my things and then book the uber to take me there so things i observed you know that i noticed that are quite different here in abuja compared to lagos you know the roads are very free and also the roads are also very wide so in lagos for an example you just have like three roads three cars that can move at the same time but here in abuja the roads are so wide that you have about five cars that can move at the same time you get what i'm trying to say and on their roads you have like so many mountains and trees by the sides giving you like this um cool kind of vibe but in lagos everywhere is like houses you know it's clumsy there is houses but here in abuja you'll be seeing like trees on the road natural trees right you also be seeing like a lot of mountains and it's just very cool so another thing i also noticed is in terms of their food for street food in lagos for an example you know their street food their street food or like their book at their local restaurants when they are serving you food they're always very stingy with their stew you know those they can serve like rice and then your stew be so small it's like the profit they want to make is inside that stew but yeah in abuja like when they serve you they serve you enough stew like your if your rice is up to this point your stew is getting to that point if your if it's when it comes to swallow if your maybe amala fufu or whatever is at this point they give you like soup that is up to that point like they are so generous in terms of their food you know at some point i'm like are these people even making profits with the way they are just dishing out food so another observation again is that their market you guys their market is so peaceful so quiet compared to lagos lagos markets when you get to lagos market somebody is dragging you here they are dragging you there the roads are busy you are sweating but this market is like you are just trolling on your streets everywhere is organized people are sitting down in their shops so when you want to shop for something you don't need to be dragged you don't need anybody to be pulling you from one place to another you just walk by if you see what you love you buy it which is so nice i wish lagos markets can actually be like that but i doubt it because even like the small markets in lagos in terms of like maybe you stay as beggar like those small small markets in lagos are even very busy or very rugged compared to abuja markets you get what i'm trying to say something else that i noticed is the way they sell for here it's like they sell for like the way they sell rice to be honest with you because at every junction or streets at the roadside they are froze into like 10 liters or 5 liters and they put it on the roadside for sale you know even like normal streets they're just selling for anyhow in lagos man i know people do black markets but not like you're walking on your streets or you're walking in the streets and then they're selling for in that street you get what i'm trying to say so these are just like my basic observation overall i feel like abuja is more peaceful um is more calm more reserved the people are lagos people are always very tense it's like <laughs> it's like the pressure <laughs> it's like we are being pressurized but here in abuja everybody is just calm their weather is calm their environment is calm people here are also calm 
overall you know i think it's okay it's okay basically even the hotel i lodged um is okay then the driver i think i told you guys how i was able to like run the driver route so i just booked like a driver to be in charge of all my movements and that was what i basically did and so far it's been good today is the last day i'm heading back to lagos this morning the also begin okay <laughs> the other begin so these are basically like my observations but let me know if you have any observation in the comment section if you stay in abuja or if you stay in lagos or if you've ever visited abuja or lagos let me know things you love and things you don't really like in the comment section so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pack up i have not packed <laughs> so i'm just going to pack up and then i'll be leaving by seven i believe in by seven so hopefully by eight nine we should be in lagos it's actually 12 hours on the road without traffic but this is where they are traffic you know it could be higher and i was so lucky when i came on sunday there was no traffic because we left lagos early so we didn't see traffic in lagos you get but now that we are returning from abuja to lagos lagos is always crowding but keeping our fingers crossed so let me just put you guys somewhere while i pack up my things Maybe this is Abuja weather. Oh, Amatan is already out already. <laughs> Even if Amatan is out, we are not going to really feel it much in Lagos because Lagos is crowding, you know. There are a lot of people in Lagos, so we don't really feel cold that much in Lagos because Lagos is crowding, people are so much that even the weather will not see space to even come out. But yeah, in ABJ, just drying somebody's lips, actually. The lips is the main thing, yeah. Like, your lips will just get dried and white. So you have to keep on applying gloss, except you want your lips to break out before you get to Lagos. So... top and also a cardigan because 12 hours i might be feeling cold you know on the way so this is the end of my abuja vlog thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so i'm checking out now let's go